we're doing another of our popular tools of the trade videos where we show different things that uh, not necessarily a gun but there's some products that you need if you own a gun different things that are necessary and useful and uh, one of the main things that uh, everybody looks for as soon as they buy a carry gun is a holster we're going to look at a few holsters today you know there's a lot of popular brands out there on the market like crossbreed and galco and simply rugged things that we've uh, uh, promoted uh, for many years we've had them around here we've got some now that are, are coming out there some lesser known manufacturers so we want to get the word out on some of these we're going to start with this uh, 1911 holster here which is a, a very good for concealment style the way it, you got one piece on the front and one on the back and it pulls that gun in and keeps it tight in against your hip this particular one is for a 1911 put this pair of gun in here but it like I said it holds your gun in tight against you it's leather so it's a good for concealment it's good and uh, good and sturdy it won't flop around or whatever and this has got a uh, part here on the back to keep the uh, uh, hammer and the safety from digging in your side if it's got ambidextrous safety on it for me I'm left-handed if you're right-handed you definitely need to keep that from digging in your side this one is from a guy a local guy here named George Bowers and he's a uh, let me get his website just right here. We'll also have it across the bottom of the screen. It's uh, gbleatherco.com. Anyway, you can order these. Get online and see what he got uh, from gbleatherco.com. He makes some different style holsters. This is one of my particular favorites. It's really well stitched, put together right, and carries a 1911 or any heavy gun like that comfortably uh, where you can have it on your hip ready when you need it. Next holster we're looking at here is from Forest City Tactical, and it's a Kydex holster, Kydex front and back. It's got some good features on it. It really fits this 1911 really well. I'll pull this gun out of here and show you what it'll do. The loops on the back are large, but they're tilted in, or that you can, it'll really, again, hold that gun in there tightly against you uh, for carrying. This particular one's outside the waistband. They also have inside the waistband holsters. Also has protection here to keep the hammer and the safety from digging in your side. As the, again, it's really well fitted to the weapon. Uh, these uh, belt loops are adjustable up and down so you can change uh, the height that uh, it carries the gun and also the angle. You can have one low and one high if you can't. Uh, either way, a forward or rearward can't on the holster if you want to. You can even flip these upside down to really bring the height of that gun up if you need to. You notice this is red on the outside. Uh, that, that's just to show that they offer a lot of different colors. You can get camo patterns and whatever. And this is available from uh, ForestCityTactical.com. We have some other gear here from Bravo Concealment. They're uh, Bravo Concealment out of Texas. Also makes some good Kydex products. I'll show you here on this holster. It also has this uh, uh, area on the back to protect uh, the weapon from your skin sweating on it and uh, your skin from the weapon digging into you. The uh, belt loops on here, they're also adjustable up and down. You can move them around where you can uh, fit the gun to you. This is a uh, change the can on it or whatever. This is an outside the belt holster. Works really well. They also make uh, inside the waistband ones and this is really thin, really compact and, uh, and just minimalist holster but it, it protects the whole gun really well. One thing I really like about this is it has the uh, the belt loops again. You can uh, have whatever size belt loops you need, but it's got the tuckable style belt loops in it where you can put it in and just pull it up on it. Holds the gun really well and keeps it against you. And the, what I like about it, any way inside the waistband holster, I like it to stay open when you pull the gun out. These Kydex holsters do that. It's not going to collapse where it takes three hangs and some help to get your weapon back in. You know, it works really well. We've got the uh, magazine pouches that you can get with it of different styles, hold your magazines, carry your extra mag either inside the waistband or outside the waistband to keep your spare mag with you. Anyway, it's from Bravo Concealment. You have the little uh, the web, web address right here. You can order what you want and uh, just to look them up and uh, they make them to fit most popular guns or just about anything you need. You can uh, uh, give them a look up and they'll uh, fix you up. They got reasonable prices, make good products. And again, they're available from Bravo Concealment.
Now for carrying larger weapons than a handgun where you need something a little bigger than a holster, a lot of people use backpacks and good rifle bags. And we're going to show you a couple here. And these are from uh, Drago Gear. And, uh, you know, I guess there's plenty of places to buy these online. I know that MIG South Shooter Supply has them. And I do a lot of business with MIG South Shooter Supply. They're, uh, they always, uh, they, if they got it in stock, they ship it right out. If they don't have it in stock, they'll tell you. They show what they stock. And uh, you can look them up at uh, MIG South Shooters dot com or you can give them a call anyway um mig south shooter supply sells these drago bags and i really like the quality of these we use one of these and what got me thinking about it a few minutes ago on a, uh we was doing a video on a caltech sub 2000 and the thing will fold up and fit in here this is a small backpack it's got several compartments in it it's uh, padded well got little compartments inside the bigger compartments where you can stow things a zipper compartment back here it's uh, really put together well it's got the nice padded shoulder straps on it and that's a, a great little backpack for those that carry backpacks. Holds a lot of good stuff, and it's uh, put together. It's not going to fall apart on you. Uh, this rifle bag here, I'm particularly fond of. Let me open it up here and show you. It's really padded well. It'll hold two rifles. You can put two AR-15s in here, or one, and a lot of other gear if you want to. It has these Velcro straps to hold your weapon down in place. A pad to go between them. Same over here. This double style. It's got pockets where you can put your buckstock down in here. And your muzzle lay down in this side and it's padded really well in three sections padded on the outside padded on the other side and padded between them where you uh, rifles are not scarring each other got a lot of extra pockets here on the outside for magazines and things you got these quick quick fashion plus velcro you can put a lot of gear in there magazines knives whatever you want to carry and it's got a good carry handles for carrying like this and it's got good padded shoulder straps for uh, wearing it as a backpack with a snap to hold it across your chest, keep from trying to slip off your shoulder. Anyway, it's a real good bag. One thing I like about these, you know, these things are really reasonably priced. Uh, uh, they're they're not, uh, you know, uh, some good bags on the market cost almost as much as your rifle. This one don't. They, they got real good prices on them. So look these up online. Uh, again, uh, you know, there's a lot of places to get them, I guess, but Mig South Shooters where I get mine. So go to Mig South Shooters Supply and look at these Drago bags. And they're really well made, and and, uh, and I really like them and highly recommend them. There's another zipper compartment here on the outside under these little accessory places where you can put something like a smaller carbine, uh, like a folding carbine, a couple of handguns. you got pouches in here that are also padded and Velcro, so you can keep handguns in there. you got a zippered area right here. Put other things in there on this side and a zippered area across there to put something. Anyway, these are Drago gear. They're imported by American Tactical Imports, and uh, they bring in some fine weapons. They've all start, also started bringing in these uh, this gear to pack them in. So uh, check them out at uh, American Tactical Imports. Look at their website. You can see the full line of stuff, or you can go to Mig South and order them, whichever you want to do. Or uh, Anyway, they get some fine gear, and I really like them, and uh, I'm proud to own them myself and highly recommend them.